Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to try to get this out as fast as possible. Shout out to Flex. Flex, you need to snatch this up. Somebody at Flex and let them know, yo, this is the next joint right Flex in here. Word. Omar, I guess you could ask your question again if uh, he's there. What was, what was the question? I was just asking, uh, what are some of your uh, personal favorite interviews that you've done? Um, A battle rapper named Oops. I don't know if y'all familiar. He has a, a documentary out called St. Louis Superman. He was involved in a lot of black activist movements and stuff like that. That's one of my favorites. Um, of course, Fat Joe. Fat Joe. Fat Joe is so captivating, man. Like, I don't know. He could take. A, he could teach a class on how to tell a story because he gives so much details. He'll tell you what. What kind of sneakers he was wearing? Was it hot outside? What kind of fashion they were? Was they wearing bubble coats? Was it the Gucci joint where they got it from? Like he just gives so much detail that you just sit there in amazement when he talks. Like it, that was just an amazing episode. And he told me after that episode it was gonna get turned up, and it really did. So shout out to Fat Joe. I'm I'm a, I appreciate you forever, bro. Not just your contribution to hip hop. But for coming on the show and just showing that love, and, um, and for being real, him and uh, Twenty One Savage, one thing they said they was like, "Yo, don't just watch a nigga shit and then act like you don't know him and shit." Like, like uh, they reached out to me and was like, "Yo, I fuck with your shit." Like, I was, and I'm, you know, of course, the next thing I'm gonna say is, "What's up? You wanna come on?" And you know, they came through. You know what I'm saying? Twenty One, I think he took a, a private jet out just to do the show. No, there was great moments in hip hop for sure, like the culture period, you know. And um, like when it comes to like Gilly and Wallow, though, bro, like in Adam 22s, the Say Cheese, like do y'all have like relationships behind the scenes where y'all in communication? How that I mean, work? I, I like I reach out to Gilly and Wallow to get like um, to, you know, to kind of educate me or give me a range on stuff because they've been doing it before me. Um, Adam 22, same thing, you know what I mean? Um, but I don't. I realize this podcast space is is fairly new and a lot of other areas haven't been explored. There's still records to be broken in this shit. There's still things that, you know, we could we can create other avenues to eat with the podcast shit. So, you know, usually when I ask questions, you know, I'll get an answer here and there, but sometimes it's like, I don't know. We need we need to figure that out. You know what I'm saying? So, gotcha. so shout out, shout out to all of them. Uh, Nori too. Nori definitely was one of the first dudes to reach out and be like, "Yo, come on the show." I was the first battle rapper on Drink Champs. Um, the first battle rapper to go on Drink Champs twice. Like, shout out to Nori. He just showed me bad love throughout the years, man. And you know that it, it makes sense why he's number one. You dig what I'm saying? Like, yeah, facts. Shout out to Nori. I got a question. Um, are you getting um, are you getting into acting soon? Or are you acting already? Um, I uh, I don't know if y'all know, but I had a movie called Rap War One. Rap War One. One spelled out O N E. If you look it look it up right now, you're gonna see a young me with a Caesar on the cover, like my face, right there. I was the lead role in that movie. And I don't know, you know, I was I was misguided. I did that shit. It got picked up by the ABFF. Um, it got licensed to Stars. Stars ran it for like three years. And my dumb ass went out there and started selling drugs and robbing niggas again. It made no sense, but you know, you know, you live and you learn. So that is something I want to explore again. Shout out to Omar. Shout out to Sticky. They've been trying to get me to kind of get back into it. Um, Method Man too. He been telling me for for the longest, like, yo, you need to just write some shit and just shoot it. And I'm like, yo, I know meth, but I'm, you know what I mean? I'm over here doing this. I'm trying to get to do it. You know what I mean? But but I but I see people like meth killing it. People like Sticky. Sticky's been in over 91 movies. I don't even know if people know that. That's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's a good actor. He's a great actor. Yeah, you know what I mean. He was the first Blake. More amazing. Or, well, he was a, he was a, he was the second Blake. Wesley was the first, but you know that's that's inspiring to me. Like and again, it's like you know not keeping yourself just in one space, but seeing what else you could do. And Memphis body in it right now in power. 
And I'm hoping that Marvel situation pulls through and we get a black superhero that we could, you know, not, you know, rest in peace, um, Chadwick Boseman, but we get another one that, that, that we can revere and, and get more movies out of, you know what I mean? hundred percent. Well, what would what be your advice for anybody trying to kind of get into the podcast or just to space you're in and from your experience so far? Um, you can't be a good podcaster if you're not a good listener. And I guess the, the growing up, the lifestyle that I lived, I, I had to pay attention to shit that people were saying and be very sharp on like, you know, their emotions, their body language and all that shit sometimes. I sit across from somebody and I'll see, I'll see that there's something there and I'll just start digging. And, and sometimes you, you dig too far and you know, there, there might be tears, tears come out of the situation, but you'll get that person to release whatever the fuck it is. That's like weighing them down. If you're not the type of person, if you could be an entertaining speaker, but you gotta be a good listener. If you're not a good listener, then, you know, don't have guests, just be somebody who talks, you know what I mean? Like like academics. Academics is great at what he does, but at the, um, he might not he might not do the best interviews, but he's great at just sitting there talking and entertaining. You know what I mean? Um, For sure. So just know know your strengths, know your strengths, and be your worst critic because that's gonna make you be your best coach. And like you know you you come in like um. Uh... To this clubhouse space, you know, and uh, I'm sure you heard about like WAC 100.